Charles Augustus Lindbergh was still making aviation news headlines in 1933. As here with his wife, the former Anne Morrow, six years after his historic solo New York to Paris flight, Lindy was ready again to leave New York to make a vast aerial survey, a sweep of the North Atlantic to establish new ocean air routes. Lindy was America's favorite aviator at the time, and this near collision after his takeoff here made the country gasp when it was shown. However, Lindy and Ann survived to do their job. The ill-fated Amelia Earhart was called Lady Lindy because of her solo air achievements. Here she is after a record hop from the West Coast to New York. It was shortly after this triumph she disappeared forever into the reaches of the Pacific Ocean. Wiley Post attained popularity second only to Lindy's. A record solo around the world flight earned him this New York ticker tape acclaim. Later, he and the immortal Will Rogers plunged to death in Alaska. Italo Balbo, a fascist general and aviator, made aviation news headlines in 1933 when he led a sky armada from the waters off Orbitello, Italy, across the Atlantic to the United States and then back again. It was the greatest mass flight up to that time, engaging 25 seaplanes. The declared purpose was to salute the Chicago World's Fair, and Balbo and his crews did just that, to the delight of the populace of the great Midwestern metropolis. On the return flight, the Italian Armada thrilled New York. The landing of the 25 seaplanes in the Hudson River impressed the big town citizens by its precision and efficiency. Malbo led his men ashore for a New York ticker tape reception that was one of the most enthusiastic on record. Off for home, a hero to Americans, Balbo later lost his popularity when he led the bombing of helpless Ethiopian villagers. Balbo's successful return to Italy made him the nation's number one idol. And at the end of his 12,000 mile flight, Mussolini himself headed the welcoming delegation. Il Duce bestowed Italy's highest decoration on Balbo, but later banished him to oblivion. Sick transit gloria.